Hello, welcome to a new Tanda of the Week. So, how many waltzes are there in one Tanda? We'll talk about that in this video. Hello, welcome to our channel Tango Music Tutorials. If you like this video, then please click the like button. If you want to support us, then you can also subscribe to our channel. Thank you. So, this week's question, how many waltzes are there in a tenda? Well, it depends, and it's not just a matter of taste. Traditionally, waltz tendas have three waltzes, not four like with tangos. So if you happen to DJ at a traditional milonga, traditional in the sense of musical choices, then it's better to play tandas of three. I remember when I started DJing, I always played tandas with three waltzes. Uh, and then I read this article from a dancer who lived in Buenos Aires, who wrote something like, what's this thing with DJs only playing three waltzes in a tanda? Why not four? Most dancers like to dance four. So I tried and I have to say it does work. So my view on this. If you're going to DJ at a traditional milonga, play tandas of three waltzes. If your own preference is to play three, you're always safe. If you like to play four waltzes, like me, and you're DJing uh, at a not so traditional milonga, it's perfectly okay to play uh, tendas with four waltzes uh, and my personal experience is that most dancers will enjoy this. Um, and when in doubt, check with the organizer in advance. Uh, if the organizer expects you to play three waltzes in a tenda, then most of the regulars at this milonga will expect the same of you. Well, that's my thoughts. Uh, perhaps you have your own thoughts on this. Uh, Leave it in the comments. And now the first waltz tenda in our series tenda of the week. And it's by Alfredo De Angelis. De Angelis was a composer, pianist and orchestra leader. Um, not one of the big four orchestras, but still very successful in the 1940s and 50s. He recorded with uh, singers like Florial uh, Ruiz, uh, Carlos Dante and Julio Martel in the 1940s, with Dante and Oscar La Roca in the 1950s, and with Godoy and others in the late 1950s and 60s. Alfredo de Angelis kept recording until 1985. Now there is this thing about de Angelis. Um, the cultural elite have always been a bit condescending about this orchestra, especially with regard to the tangos. It's quite often called music for the merry-go-round, la calesita. Uh, superficial dance music lacking creativity and quality. It's the orchestra people love to hate. Personally, I don't think this does him justice, especially with regard to his earlier work, but we'll deal with that in another video. However, his waltzes are a different matter. Even those who say playing tangos by De Angelis is a sign of poor taste usually consider his waltzes perfectly acceptable. The reason for that, his waltzes are really good and perfect for dancing. For a tango DJ, the waltzes by De Angelis are part of the core collection. They are guaranteed floor fillers. This specific tanda of the week is with some of the most popular waltzes from the 1940s with singers Florial Ruiz, Carlos Dante and Julio Martel. The first waltz is Minovia de Ager from 1944. It's the only waltz De Angelis recorded with Ruiz Later that year, Ruiz joined the orchestra of Aníbal Troilo. Next waltz is Pobre Flor, also called Primera Illusión, from 1946. It's one of the duets with Carlos Dante and Julio Martel. 
the Dante mark, the duets are really a trademark of the Angelis in the 1940s. Also in the third song, Amagaldi, dedicated to Agostin Magaldi, a popular singer in the 1920s and 30s, nicknamed the sentimental voice of Buenos Aires. Magaldi died in 1938 at the age of only 39. The final track is Illusion Azul, an up-tempo waltz with Carlos Dante and one of my favorites. Enjoy! Dentro de mi corazón Nada cambio, todo es igual Solo eres tú que no está Nada debo reprocharte porque fuiste buena para mí Nada debes reprocharme porque sin quererlo te perdí Como lloramos los dos Al pronunciar el adiós Fuiste la primera novia que jamás olvidé el corazón Yo era la primer caricia que tu dulce mano oprimió Y hoy si la emoción de mi canción llegaste a ti comprenderás que siempre soy el que ayer fui Fuiste la primera novia que jamás olvidé el corazón Yo era la primer caricia que tu dulce mano oprimió Y hoy si la emoción de mi canción llega hasta ti comprenderá Con su manto triste para no volver Siendo mi ilusión primera solitaria tumba de mi último amor Juramento vano de una boca caliente con pozón y maldición Pero el recuerdo grabado Como una mortaja eterna sobre el alma mía triste la cubrió Y por eso entre tiniebla voy meditabundo vagando al azar Con tu nombre escrito con una sentencia de no poder olvidar El corazón que te amó
mañana de invierno el sol se ha escondido negando sus rayos acaso marchó ay lloros lamentos que habrá sucedido que el alma porteña su temple quebró mañana de invierno crespones de duelo un alma en el cielo que Dios recogió ¿Qué pasa? pregunta anhelante la gente la gente responde Magaldi murió ¿Por qué te fuiste, hermano? Ayer cantaste a Gardel, mas soy del encambre humano, tu canto se fue tras él, quebróse, tu voz doliente partió en pos de emoción, y la flor del dolor se desota, sembrando con gojas en mi corazón. y soberbia cual diosa pagana pasaste a mi lado mostrando el rencor y desde aquel día yo sé que he perdido la gloria inefable de un sueño de amor no extraño tus besos que fueron fingidos ni extraño tus labios de raro dulzor tan solo me duele el fulgor de tus ojos que ayer me miraron con honda pasión que fueron estrellas que guiaron mi alma que me roban calma si me niegan crueles cuando ansioso busco su mirar de amor ojo que fueron las redes donde prisionero te adoré sincero y me han hecho esclavo al poner en mi alma la su ilusión pero tu alma desde yo soy fría no sabía de amores para mi dolor fueron tus ojos los que me mintieron tan engañadores con su fulgor y ahora arrastró la cadena del recuerdo triste del pasado hermoso al vivir dichoso el adorado brazo de aquella ilusión 